Welcome to e-learning for class 4, subject work experience. I'm Jaren Elsa Abraham. Today, we'll be learning lesson number 3, Windows Customizing and Personalizing. In this lesson, you'll be learning about Windows 7, Start Menu, Taskbar and different gadgets on the desktop and how to personalize your windows. Windows 7 Windows 7 is an operating system developed by Microsoft Corporation. Windows 7 controls the overall activities of the computer as well as the operation of each and every part of it. In this lesson, let's learn more about Windows 7. The Start menu is used to access programs, files, and computer settings. On the left corner of your taskbar, you can see the Start button. By clicking on Start button, you can open Start menu. Its left part shows all programs and frequently used applications. Its right part shows shortcuts for different locations on your computer and the shutdown button. You can customize the start menu to quick access the programs that you use most often. Some applications are not up displayed on left side of start menu. You have to open them from start menu or programs and then navigate the menu and sub menu that appears. You can add an application permanently on the left side of Start menu, which is used frequently. Now for that, you can click on the Start button, click on All Programs, locate the application you want to pin in the Start menu. For example, let me take the Word Pad. Click on, right click on the Word Pad, pin to Start menu. You need to click on pin to start menu and you can find word pad that is all pinned to the start menu. Now, if you want to remove the icon from the start menu, you can right click the icon and then click on unpin from start menu. Taskbar is a colored bar at the bottom of the Windows desktop extending from left to right. The left side of the taskbar has a start button and the right side has a clock showing the current time. The taskbar may include many icons depending on the software installation in your computer. Whenever you open a, an application program or app, the taskbar on the desktop displays an icon indicating that some applications are running. The icon contains the logo of the software application. A taskbar is extremely useful when you're working with multiple windows simultaneously. Now let's see how to add and pin application to the taskbar. For that, you can go to the Start menu, All Programs, and you can find out the application that you want to pin to the taskbar. Right click on the application and you can click on pin to taskbar. An icon for the pinned application appears on the taskbar. In this example, we have added a shortcut of paint program. Click on the icon, the program opens. Now, to remove the icon from the taskbar, right click the icon and then click on unpin this program for taskbar. In Windows, after you start one application, you do not need to close that application before you open another one. Windows supports the feature called multitasking which means running two or more applications at once. 
If you need to work with more than one opened application together, you can easily switch between the running applications by using the taskbar. At a time, you can work in only one active application only. To display the window you want to work with in front of all the other windows, click its icon on the taskbar. Now, in the far right corner of the taskbar, there is the arrow peak button. This is also called as show desktop button. You can instantly minimize all your opened windows to remove them from your screen and view the desktop clearly. Take your mouse pointer to the show desktop button and click on it. Each window win minimizes to an icon to the desktop. You can now clearly view your desktop. If you want to re-display all windows, click on Show Desktop button again. Now students, the digital clock icon appears on the right side of the taskbar and displays the current date and time. You should make sure that the correct date and time are set in your computer. Windows uses the date and time to determine when you create the, and update your files. Now let's see how to change the date and time. Move your cursor and position it towards the clock. Click on the clock. You can see change date and time settings. Click on it. Again, change date and time. A date and time settings dialog box will appear. Now, to change the month, click on these arrows until the desired month and year appears. This area displays the days of the month. The current day is highlighted. To change the day, you can click on the correct day. This area displays the time set in your computer. To change the time, you can type the correct time or you can use the arrows. Once you are done, you can click on OK and confirm your changes. Again, in this dialog box, you can again click on OK. So your date and time are set correctly. Now. Let's see how to personalize your windows. Personalization window is used for customizing, decorating and configuring many aspects in your window system. First, let's see how to change the desktop background. You can make your desktop background more beautiful by changing its wallpaper according to your choice. The background image that appears on your desktop is called as the wallpaper. You can even put in your own picture or other pictures provided by the windows in your computer. Now let's see how to change the desktop background. For that you can go to start button, click on it. You can click on control panel. The control panel window appears. Over here you can click on appearance and personalization. Here, you can click on Personalization. The Personalization window appears. Over here, you can click on Desktop Background. You can see many background pictures have been displayed. And here, you have other options also. Now, if you want your own pictures to be displayed, you can go to Pictures Library. And you can browse and you can take your own pictures as well. You can have any of the given pictures. These are the pictures that is given by the windows. Now you can click on clear all. Can You, you can see as you can see all the pictures are 
tick mark you can click on clear all so all the pictures are untick now you can click on whichever picture you want to be displayed on the screen as your background image next there's an option to picture position there are many options fill fit stretch center which is correct for you you can select and then you can click on save changes and this you can click on close the picture you have selected appears on the desktop now let's see how to set the screen saver the screen saver is a moving picture that appears automatically on your computer if you do not use your computer for a period of time to bring your uh, desktop again from screen saver just move your mouse or press any key from keyboard now let's see how to set the screen saver for that you can again go to start control panel appearance and personalization open the personalization window and over there you can go to screen saver here the screen saver settings dialog box appears click on the down arrow of screen saver and you have a lot of options given click on the screen saver you want to use a preview will be appeared on the screen and here you can click on the wait up and down arrow button to specify the number of minutes of computer idle time after which the screen saver appears now you can click on okay the screen saver appears after your computer is idle for the number of minutes you have specified and now you can click on close you can make the windows desktop more useful by adding gadgets to it a gadget is a small program such as a clock or calculator that performs a specific function you can also remove the gadgets now to add a gadget you can right click on the desktop click on gadgets the gadget gallery will appear here you can select the desired gadget you can click on show details to see the description of the gadget now you can right click on the gadget if you want to add this gadget and click on add you can also double click the gadget to add to the desktop now if you want this gadgets to be removed you can click on close and thus you can remove the gadgets from the desktop with that we have come to the end of this lesson today you have learned about how to pin different applications to start menu and taskbar you have learned how to set the clock add gadgets to desktop and also how to change the appearances of your windows hope you have enjoyed the video and understood the concept of this lesson thank you